Hi guys, look at this question. The question is 9 to the power x minus 6 to the power x is equals to 4 to the power x. And we have to find the values of x. Let's see how do we proceed in this question. First of all, we are going to divide the whole equation with 4 to the power x. So, this term and this term gets cancelled here. And here, this 9 can be written as 3 square. And this 4 can be written as 2 square. So, this is 3 square whole to the power x. And this is 2 square whole to the power x. Minus this 6 upon 4. It can be written as 6 upon 4 whole to the power x is equal to 1. Further, you can write this as 3 to the power 2x upon 2 to the power 2x minus just do cancellation here. This is 3 times and this is 2 times 2. So this is 3 upon 2 whole to the power x is equal to 1. Further, you can write this as 3 upon 2 whole to the power 2x minus 3 upon 2 whole to the power x is equal to 1. Or you can write this as 3 upon 2 to the power x whole to the power 2 minus 3 upon 2 whole to the power x. Just bring this one on the left hand side so its sign gets changed. Now let's assume that t is equal to 3 upon 2 whole to the power x. Now substitute our assumption in the equation. So we have t square minus t minus 1 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. Comparing this with a standard quadratic equation that is ax square plus bx plus t is equal to 0. So we have a is 1, b is minus 1 and c is minus 1. Putting the values in the quadratic, quadratic formula that is t is equal to minus b plus minus under root. This is b square minus 4ac upon 2a. So we have t is equal to minus 1 plus minus. This is 1 square minus 4 into 1 into minus 1 upon 2 into 1. Further you have t is equal to 1. Plus minus, this is 1, plus 4 upon 2. Or you can write this as t is equal to 1 plus minus under root 5 upon 2. So we have two possibilities. First of all, 1 plus under root 5 upon 2. And the second is t is equal to 1 minus under root 5 upon 2. Now, according to our assumption, t is equal to 3 upon 2 whole to the power x. Replacing this in our results, so we get 3 upon 2 whole to the power x is equals to 1 plus under root 5 upon 2. And here we have 3 upon 2 whole to the power x is equals to 1 minus under root 5 upon 2. Since when we are going to evaluate this value, this is a negative value and this is a positive value. So these two cannot be equivalent. So, we are going to reject this solution of x and we are going to work on this solution. So, here in order to find x, just take log on both sides. Or you can say x is equal to log of 3 upon 2 is equal to log of 1 plus under root. 5 upon 2. Now in order to remove this log of 3 upon 2 from the left hand side, just divide by log of 3 upon 2 on both sides. So this is log of 1 plus under root 5 upon 2 upon log of 3 upon 2. So here this term and this term gets cancelled. So x is equal to log of 1 plus under root 5 upon 2 upon 
log of 3 upon 2. Now according to the law, log of a upon b can be written as log of a minus log of b. So we are going to write the numerator as log of 1 plus under root 5 minus log of 2 and in the denominator we can write this as log of 3 minus log of 2. Now we are going to evaluate this 1 plus under root 5 has a value 3.236 minus this is log of 2. In the denominator we have log of 3 minus log of 2. Further just from the calculator we get the value of this log of 3.236 as 0 0.51. And log of 2 has a value 0 0.301. Log of 3 has a value 0 0.4771. And log of 2 has a value 0 0.301. So, after simplification, we get 0 0.209 in the numerator and 0 0.1761 in the denominator. And hence, x is equals to 1.1. 1868. Now, this is our required value of x. Now, we are going to check whether our solution is correct or incorrect by putting this value in our given equation. In order to check, we have 9 to the power x minus 6 to the power x is equal to 4 to the power x. We are putting the value of x here, 9 to the power, this is 1.1868 minus this is 6 to the power 1.1868 is equals to 4 to the power 1.1868. So after calculating we get this as 13.567 and here we get 8.3851 and here we get 5.1822. Now, after simplification, we get here 5.1821 that is approximately equal to 5.1822. So, it is verified that x has a value 1.868. I hope you understand it and if you like it, kindly subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.